Good morning. It's Friday, March 20th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When the Church Gets It Right. And our scripture is Ephesians chapter 5, where Paul writes, Imitate God, therefore, in everything you do, because you are his dear children. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. He loved us and offered himself as a sacrifice for us, a pleasing aroma to God. Let there be no sexual immorality, impurity, or greed among you. Such sins have no place among God's people. Obscene stories, foolish talk, and coarse jokes, these are not for you. Instead, let there be thankfulness to God. You can be sure that no immoral, impure, or greedy person will inherit the kingdom of Christ and of God. For a greedy person is an idolater, worshipping the things of this world. Don't be fooled by those who try to excuse these sins, for the anger of God will fall on all who disobey him. Don't participate in the things these people do. For once you were full of darkness, but now you have light from the Lord. So live as people of light. For this light within you produces only what is good and right and true. In the realm of science versus religion, the flat earth characterization of Jesus' followers as somehow mentally unable to perceive reality isn't close to truth even if you travel back to the Dark Ages. Scholars David Lindbergh and Ronald Numbers inform us, quote, There was scarcely a Christian scholar of the Middle Ages who did not acknowledge Earth's sphericity and even know its approximate circumference. End of quote. In the fake news department, the Church of Jesus Christ gets a lot of ink. By that, I mean there's a lot of false information about what Christians believe and how the church is responsible for a culture of hating, an undercurrent of bias against Christianity based upon ignorance of reliable history. To apply Paul's instructions to the Ephesian church in modern-day Western culture, it's time to stop living a Dark Ages mentality. I say, unashamedly so, Western so-called enlightened culture must begin to get over itself as anything close to healthy. Marriage, for instance, has always been held in high regard by Christ followers. The behavior, though, of those who entered marriage lightly and frittered away the holy standards with loose living and low regard for fidelity within marriage and abstinence outside of marriage does not negate 2,000 years of the church holding the standard high so as to preserve the health of family, which preserves the health of community, which not only honors God, but elevates and venerates, nobly so, the status and security of all women, men, and children. Without that elevation, social, economic, governmental, and institutional breakdown is imminent, always hanging by a thread. Let's face it, the church, not a denomination or fringe cult group ready to drink the Kool-Aid, but the historical, orthodox, if you will, body of Christ, scriptural, reasoning, traditional, and experiential church of Jesus Christ, which, being full of human beings, sometimes messes it up so bad because they're still living in a fallen world, yes, that church does get it right. We get it right knowing the truth. We sometimes mess it up doing the truth. At times, in our human frailty, we are much more the fabled emperor wearing his birthday suit to the parade rather than the bride of Christ adorned in splendor. May I suggest we cut the church a little slack? Jesus did that with all of us and also encourages us to go and sin no more. For you today... Stand tall, believer. You've a calling and a master to serve today, and you'll encounter a lot of people who don't know you're out to help, not injure. So, go show them otherwise. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.